IQ scores are normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. Find the corresponding standardized score, or the Z-score, for an IQ of 125 and then for an IQ of 90. First, let's understand what a Z-score is. A Z-score is the number of standard deviations away from the mean. And I'll abbreviate that, standard devs for standard deviations. from the mean. So if you had an IQ of 100, you would be zero standard deviations from the mean. 125, you are a little bit more than one standard deviation because 15 is the standard deviation. And we have a formula for that. You could probably figure it out just from this understanding, but, but uh, the formula is very good to, to understand and, and have in your pocket. So z equals the x value, in this example it's 125, some given x value, minus the sample mean, which for us is 100, over the standard deviation, the, sam uh, the population standard deviation of 15 in this example. By the way, if you have a, a sample that is normally distributed, you can do the same thing. X some given x value minus x bar, which is the sample mean, over small s, which is the sample standard deviation. So we just have the population and the, and the sample here. But the formulas work exactly the same. So we can just plug these numbers in exactly, where 125 is our x value, uh, 100 is our mu, our mean, 15 is our sigma. So I'll just plug that right in, and I get Z, I don't like that Z, Z equals 125 minus 100 all over 15. So Z, rounding now, the standardized score is approximately equal to 1.67. That's our answer. And that makes sense. Uh, just a, that is positive, just a, a another understanding of the standard deviation or the, the standardized score is this. If you have a normally distributed population, the mean is right at the center. Well, Z for standardized is right at the center because you are zero, uh, you, you are right at the, the standard deviation or right at the mean, zero standard deviations from the mean. Over here, let's say X equals uh, some value. Well, Z is going to equal something positive. It's, to the, it's above the mean. And over here, Z equals something negative to the left of the mean. And that's what we're going to see in the second example. So let's do that one. Plugging these numbers in here, the only thing that changes is, is our X value is 90. So the Z value equals 90 minus 100 over the standard deviation of 15. 90 minus 100 is negative 10, so we will have a negative number. So z equals negative 0.67, I should say, is approximately equal to negative 0.67. Real quickly, on Excel, this is an older version of Excel from Office XP, but it works the same on, on all the versions. <coughs> so if you have the older version, it's going to look just like this, and, and it will have these features. The newer versions have these features. Uh, this insert function button might look just a tiny bit different, but this all works. The, uh, the function is standardized. I'm going to just insert function this time just to go through this process of, of finding this in case you forget exactly what it's called. So we'll go down to standardize, click on it. And then it says, okay, of, of standardized what? Well, if our x value we said was 125 and the mean was 100, the standard deviation is 15, and we say, okay, it gives us exactly what we found earlier. That's, that's this value. Okay. Now, what about for 90? We should get a negative uh, z-score. So let's see. Equals. I'm going to type it in this time. Equals standardize. 
And when you type it in, you have to open up pr the parentheses. And then Excel is very nice. It walks you through here. It says, what's the X value that you want? Well, uh, the X value that we have is 90. Our mean is 100, comma. We separate these by commas. The standard deviation is 15. Close the parentheses. Enter. Aha. Just what we did. Of course, we rounded to just two decimal places. And uh, Excel, Excel gave us all this. So there it is. There's the standardized score.